Digger Driver, 40, reveals details of passionate five-minute sex. I took Harry's virginity. Prince Harry and Sasha Walpole allegedly had a passionate five-minute romp while his bodyguards looked for him in a blue Ford Fiesta, according to Sasha Walpole. A more mature woman has come forward to share her side of the story of taking Prince Harry's virginity in a field behind a packed bar. Sasha Walpole claimed to Daily Mail that they had a passionate five-minute romp while his bodyguards looked for him in a blue Ford Fiesta. The July 2001 meeting, according to Ms. Walpole, a former Highgrove groom who is currently a digger, was a wham-bam between two acquaintances. The 40-year-old mother of two claimed that after 10 shots each of tequila, Baileys, and Sambuca, the two engaged in alcohol-fueled intercourse. In the Wiltshire village of Norton, she claims that Harry initiated contact, which resulted in them having intercourse in a field behind the Vine Tree Tavern. To honor her 19th birthday, they had gone to the bar that evening. He had purchased her a jokey gift of a stuffed Miss Piggy toy and a birthday card with a joke about a flatulent whale on the front because they were such close friends. And in the bar, he purchased a tray of 10 shots five for each person for, which Ms. Walpole claims the couple were considerably inebriated by the time the bar closed. She claims that he asked her whether they might go for a cigarette when last orders were called. Speaking to Daily Mail, she claimed that it felt wicked and that it swiftly transitioned from a kiss to being on the floor. It was quick fiery wham-bam between two buddies, she remarked. Editor. We didn't plan to do it, it wasn't planned, and I was unaware that he was a virgin. There were no impressions of a virgin, he appeared to be competent. She also said that if they had not both been intoxicated, it would not have occurred. According to The Sun, the two were acquainted during her time as a stable girl at Highgrove, King Charles's rural estate. Additionally, they had frequently attended polo matches together. Harry hid in a red phone box after their sexual encounter to avoid being spotted, and Ms. Walpole's companion Bryony afterwards drove a protection officer to Harry in her blue Ford Fiesta. She claims to recall that he was wearing boxers and that they were silent throughout the entire incident. She also claimed that she did grasp his bottom and slap him, just as he claimed in his autobiography Spare, and that he had a gorgeous peachy bum. She was told by Ms. Walpole that the man in question wasn't Prince Harry, but rather her buddy Harry, and that the situation had gotten a little out of hand. Prince Andrew is the focus of Charles and William's joint defense, as they uphold the late Queen's intentions. In January of last year, Prince Andrew gave Queen Elizabeth II back his royal and military patronage. Regarding Prince Andrew's future, King Charles and Prince William concur. According to royal commentator Richard K., neither the ruler nor his heir intends to reverse the choice made by the late Queen last year to end the Duke of York's official functions. Mr. K. asserted in a Daily Mail article. Putting aside his brotherly love for Andrew, the king made it clear that the queen's choice to eliminate all of his official functions a year ago was the right one and will not be changed. Prince William, Charles's heir, has Charles's full backing in holding this position. The Duke of York completely knows their position and has come to terms with it, the editor-at-large of the newspaper continued. According to sources close to Andrew, there is a difference between what he genuinely wants and what is purportedly being communicated on his behalf, Mr. K continued.